Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you something different today. Today we're just in Minecraft, and we're not in my test world, we're not on a server, we're not we're in a single player world, haven't done this for a long time, haven't done just a pure vanilla single player world uh, where I just play. But, especially not in a video, I've never done that before, but I thought I'd give it a try, just start this map up, uh, it was a couple days ago, only been playing for maybe an hour or so, so just gathering basic surface resources and building a probably way too complicated starter home. So why am I doing an LP type series? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll continue it or what. Um, I think the main reason I was going to try and do this was try and give myself some ideas for redstone because I don't play single player much so I don't get that many ideas. Um, all the contraptions people actually use, those come from uh, people playing single player saying, hey, that would be cool if I had that. Not people who just sit on a test world or don't play forever and just think if I maybe come up with a random idea every once in a while. Inspired by someone else. But yeah, uh, so what we're going to do here, probably this episode, we're going to finish this off. I want to get a roof, nice roof on here. Just going for a, not my best, it's not really my best work at all. Just something simple. Going for... Made more of a traditional North American style house. A couple level. Yeah. So, uh, what to talk about? Huh. Well, so I haven't been doing that much lately. I've not completely out of Minecraft, just not been doing much in general lately. Uh, been off school, so that's nice. But, uh, Seems having free time doesn't always correspond to me wanting to get when the uh, blah, blah, play Minecraft. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm okay, gonna keep saying so a lot because I have no clue what to talk about in one of these. Uh, don't really have anything planned for this episode. It's probably gonna be a boring episode that no one cares for, which is fine. I don't really care care that much myself. It's just a episode of me building. And talking, which I'm not very good at. So that's a great idea, right? Combine something you're not very good at with something you're not uh, you don't do much. <laughs> yeah. So what I want to do in here is as much redstone and cool mechanics as possible. I want to. I really want to use the series to get myself uh, thinking about things. Not sure how long we'll stay in this world, but I really like it. This mountain range was nice. I was thinking of living in that box canyon there. It's a really nice box canyon, but I decided that the view, for now at least, the view looking there is better. Maybe I'll move in there after. But yeah, it's uh, just a little fresh chest world. I have so much. I had so much birch. Can you tell I had a lot of birch? This birch forest everywhere around here. There's a there's a taiga over there for the spruce. Which is funny enough, I have more spruce right now than I do, uh... Uh, what is this? The birch call? Birch, yeah. And it... Yeah. So, I do like building. So, I don't know, I don't know if people are interested in more building. Everyone seems to do building. Why would anyone want to watch a building series? Um... I've done more. I've done bigger building on the our feed the beast server. I was playing recently, uh, Direwolf twenty pack. Though I am thinking of wanting to try playing around with crack pack because guns. I like the guns in the game. They just seem to make it nice. Flans mod. I've always wanted to play with Flans mod, but it never. It always. It never really worked for multiplayer and such. So I'll see, have to see what we'll do with uh, that. Maybe we'll change up to that at some point. Um. What am I going to do here? I need to get on the roof. Let's get the roof in. Use a pumpkin for scale. This is going to be the rambliest episode ever. Because <laughs> I have no clue what to talk about anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're just going to be on he here doing stuff. Now, uh, I'm not not someone with stories and stuff. I don't like talking about my life, even though there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't enjoy talking about it. It's not what I do. Play video games, have fun. 
But what I've been doing recently, I uh, probably don't know this, but I, I quite enjoy programming. So what I've been doing, what I've been building recently is I've been uh, building kind of an operating system, not a big thing, just a little fun little side project, getting to know how it's done and stuff. A little 64-bit uh, operating system for x86, 64. Um, not quite finished. It was like uh, it was a little seminar series run by a person at my person at the university. It was a student-run thing, and yeah, basically it was a uh, sort of a guide. It wasn't here built write this code, add this code, blah blah blah. No, it was uh, yeah. This is the thing. Here's how you here's the specifications for it. Do it yourself kind of uh, tutorial. So I had a bit of fun with that. Not fully, never fully finished that, but I'll just see what I'll do do with it now. But because uh, I've gotten to the point where it's I have a kernel, I've got memory, I got a, like a virtual terminal on the screen, so I can write, and read, and get user input and such like that. However, I still do not have any. I don't have user space, so everything's running as the operating system kernel itself. So, like an operating system, you have, well, the big monolithic one, you typically have a kernel and you have the user space. The user space is where all the user applications run. It's not trusted. Everyone get every program typically gets their own uh, user space area and memory, so they're all separate and so they don't can't stomp on each other and do do things like that. And um, I don't think of how to do this house. Yeah, but kernel space, everything's sharing the same address space in mine. There's points, so they can print. I can't run programs. I barely got the disk driver working, but yeah, kernel space is quite quite nice. It's essentially writing a program that runs on bare metal, no operating system or anything, because you are the operating system. So you have to deal with like you have to deal with virtual memory and all that stuff because memory isn't like when you say memory address say five thousand that doesn't actually correspond typically to an a to actual physical memory at that spot it's typically some uh, well at least on x86 oop in uh, long mode or protected mode. It uh, corresponds to like an entry in some table and stuff like that, which all, all in turn goes back to the actual physical memory that it's backed with. Now you can have multiple virtual memory pointing and stuff like that. Now I'm guessing you're not too interested in hearing about operating systems, but eh, maybe you are. Not sure how much I'll continue with the one I have. Uh, maybe I'll post the source if anyone is actually interested in seeing my uh, crummy C code. My, uh, well, not so good C coding. I don't know if I would call it crummy. Uh, I was trying to get something here. I don't know why I jumped off the roof now. Yeah, I don't know why I jumped off the roof. Um, I've had this Enderman trolling me. I don't know where it is. It just keeps randomly teleporting about when in broad daylight. And occasionally leaving a, a little friend behind for me because we're playing the snapshots here. If he, if he stays here, I'm going to kill him. Get over here. Ah, crap. That didn't work as planned. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Looks like we're dead now. Haven't died yet. Don't really plan to. Got a stone sword and no armor. Didn't he didn't make a sound though? I think he's just trolling me some more. I guess my emergency shelter is hiding in the window. There is a cave below this uh, building. I'm trying to cover it up. Uh, but yeah, with the operating system, I might take it as... That was a weird texture glitch. I'd probably take it as far as going to... Maybe loading a program. I'm not sure if I'm entirely happy on how it's going. But I do have another project. It might be... I haven't decided what... I, I think I want to do operating system. Another operating Oop. Another operating system again. Uh, maybe I shouldn't go up here yet. But maybe this time I'll go with an architecture I'm slightly more familiar with. Uh, 
the ARM architecture and go on a Raspberry Pi. Had a great uh, hardware class in computer si science where we uh, essentially just uh, wrote bare metal code on a on a Raspberry Pi. It was quite fun. Wrote a cool little game, tile game. That's what we were required to do. We didn't get much choice in the game, but I tried to do as best I could. But the Raspberry Pi is actually quite a nice architecture, and unlike XA6, you pretty much know exactly what hardware is connected to it, at least at the start. Whereas on the XA6, I barely know what the hardware I'm doing. I'm relying on pretty much standard stuff that's all in it when I'm writing this operating system. So, in that respect, the XA6 is a bit more annoying. The other thing with XA6, it is... It's... it's it's a really weird uh, situation where it's an architecture that's been added and a added and added on, and it's still compatible with a uh, late 70s CPU, the 8086. And it boots up in that mode, and you have to do all this stuff boot it up, change it, change it to protected mode, change it to compatibility mode, which is just the 32 bit with some slightly different things, and then you can finally get into 64 bit mode. I wonder if we're still using such an architecture, how ancient it is, really. How it's managed to survive, it's just being the one, so people don't bother changing things, they just, yeah, it works, type attitude with it. Yeah. So anyway, back to Minecraft, I'll stop talking about computer science stuff, which probably most of you don't care about. Well, probably most of you don't care about this video anyway, so what does it matter? <laughs> Um, so yeah, redstone stuff. I don't have any yet, so I'll probably be doing that after I get this front is going and getting redstone, and I just made more slabs when I already had a bunch of my inventory. <laughs> ah, great. So, I wonder what I want to do. Probably want to build, maybe. I'm so indecisive at this point, so this might be the only video... Maybe not. Uh, great indecisiveness here. And I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this roof because it's got a two-part roof, and I've haven't changed. I, all the angles are the same, so that's just going to be a weird build. So I want to try and add redstone. I don't really want to just do doors. I want to try and Maybe I'll set the goal. I'll build. I want to build a actual like some type of automation thing. Maybe a computer. I have built a CPU before, a very basic one. Well, actually, I've built two CPUs technically. One actually could be programmed to do stuff with. The other was just a CPU on its own, a clone of a. Funny enough, a one-bit CPU. You know, we have 64-bit CPUs. Some people still have 32-bit. This is a one-bit, <laughs> the old Motorola architecture they had. What am I doing? I think I've gone over too far. One, two, three. One. What the? I'm lost. Uh, let's go out here a bit. Yeah, I've messed this up. This should be coming down here at this point. I think. Yes. Building houses is weird. Oh, how am I not falling off here? Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> and I've gone silent. Um, I'm running out of things to talk talk about. Maybe I'm not really cut out for the LP part of this. Just stick with maybe get games and such. Uh, but yeah, I'm to say, yeah, I'm not sure I like this episode, but I'll probably put it up anyway. So if people want to see LPs, let me know. No, I can I can do it. I can try. <laughs> try my best. I like build. Cause I can I can build. I can do stuff like this, but ah, uh, I feel it's so overdone already. Like, is there a need? Does anyone really care? <laughs> Yeah, if not, I'll just use this as a world to have fun. I haven't done a single player in a while. 
So don't don't expect too frequent uploads. Even if I do decide to do this, it's probably not going to be that common to have an upload. Because eh, I do have time right now, but so far I'm not quite into it. I probably have to get used to this talking and stuff. So this house will just be a starter house because like I want to integrate redstone in it and such into it, but this house is not designed in the slightest to accommodate that. The walls are so thin, there's no way... It's got two... the way it's got the two levels touching, there's no way to hit, hide any redstone under there. It's... it's just a... odd little thing. Yeah. So there we go. Got a bit of a roof there. Now let's hop down and see how this looks, preferably without taking too much fall damage. Never mind. Oh, we gotta take all the scaffolding down. Um, let's get this off before we take the grand reveal of the roof, which I still don't have a ground level floor. But I need a styling roof. Complete with attic. Oh, scaffolding. Well, I'm liking this roof. Just a uh, pretty typical nor. Oh, you, you, you're dead. I want to get you. Ooh, I'm lagging out bad. Where'd you go? This Enderman. I, I gotta kill him. Uh, I will kill him one time. Oops, that's not the right set of keys. Been playing around with the one of my other keywords right now because I was borrowing the, the clicky model M keyboard I've been using all the time time so it's a great keyboard but it is loud but I think I'll still use it anyway it's, I've never found it too bad in the videos but if you like like a bit quieter like it is in this one this is a little G15 one of these G15 mark 2 keyboards had it I've had it for a while yeah it's not bad fairly low slope on the roof might need to clean up with some stairs and such in there try and clear clean up the attic line I really should have an overhang over this balcony that I haven't added yet. Like, this is kind of the wrong direction. Um, like, I need a... Something like that, maybe? No, it's too close to the roof. I'd have to... It would have to... Mm -hmm. I think this is the problem. And that would be the solution. Just telling the mess it up and flip those over. But yeah. I guess this is going on a bit too long. I've been rambling about nothings. I'm not that good at talking. Getting a starter house built here. Probably get some stuff done next time. Actually do some bunch of caving, try and get some materials before next time again. And so I'm a bit more prepared this time. I'll finish off the glass work, install a floor, maybe a basement, going down to a mine. This is already a cave down here. I think I showed don't think I showed no I'm not sure if I showed you that, but there's already a cave here. And a bat. A bat. <laughs> Alright. Hope you enjoyed. It's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day. Maybe we'll see you again in this world in the next time. Bye.